the chili flakes, but throughout, right? Why not, bro? Oh, dude. <laughs> Different style, right? Mm hmm. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful, sunny Curitiba, Brazil, the cultural and ecological capital of southern Brazil. Beautiful city. Right now, we are in the Botanical Gardens, one of the main attractions. It's a free attraction that was built in 1991 in a French style. You can walk around, you can see the grounds, you can go up to this beautiful building. From there, you get beautiful views. And as you can see right here, they did the flowers in the shape of a Christmas tree. So that's like a Christmas tree. And there's some small rodents walking around here. Really funny, they keep popping out, but every time I get close, they run back in. And after this, we're gonna go explore the historical center of Curitiba and eat some traditional breakfast. You know, go to a few different spots that serve Curitiba breakfast. Let's go, man, I'm hungry, and we're going to attend like some really traditional places in Curitiba. That's where the Curitibanos, the people that were born here, they're very proud uh, to attend. So it's all a local place, and uh, avoid to come here around 9 to 11. It's always crowded. Uh, I like to come here like around 8. 8 is a good time, pretty much empty and we're really really lucky today because it's not raining curitiba it rains almost every day i think it's like 200 days a year yesterday it was pouring this morning it was really really wet but now the sun came out so now you know when you come to curitiba if it didn't rain you weren't here you weren't here yeah <laughs> all right let's go i'm super hungry nine in the morning where are these rodents at though i want to see a rodent <laughs> they're gone. They're funny, man. Yes. They're like they're like calibara. So what is it called? Yes, here we call it esquilos. 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 Okay. Yes. All right, let's go eat. Rafa. Bom dia. Bom dia. Let's go eat. Let's go. I'm on What are we going to right now? What is it? Yeah, we're going to a place called Pizza It Italia. Uh, that's where the Curitibanos uh, have breakfast there. It's just basically like a slice of pizza with a, a banana smoothie or like strawberry smoothie. For breakfast. For breakfast. It's a downtown Curitiba. It's simple but very traditional. And it's cool because uh, it's a local place. It's not a tourist place, you know? And the pizza is okay, but uh, I like the atmosphere and the ambience, you know? It's super cool. And what is this area we're in right now? Right now, we're just heading to downtown uh, Curitiba. To be honest, we're extremely lucky today. I mean, it said it was going to be raining the whole day. And look. You can even see beautiful. the blue sky. I know, you can see blue sky. Blue sky. It, it was overcast. It was raining. Now it's perfect. Even the temperature is getting warmer. It is. It, it, <laughs> we had this on. Like last night, it was cold. It was cold. It was cold. And when we got here yesterday, it was chilly raining like crazy yeah and then look at this now Incredible. i would say it's like overcast right yeah overcast. i mean it is perfect I, i'd rather have overcast a little a little bit of chill, chill. right like yeah. you know 70 degrees 65 perfect right. and i love the city i mean it's big three million people live here oh it's big huge mix of italians germans yeah. ukrainians like our it's, friend last night yeah it's the biggest city in uh south region of brazil okay it the is biggest one wow yeah. i thought porto Alegre was bigger no porto Alegre is smaller smaller wow smaller, okay yeah. wow and so we're going right now on this main avenue into the circle center lots of mix of buildings right here it's like you know two-story building one-story building 18-story building 50-story yeah. building just never ending uh, a mix of the yeah, infrastructure if you notice like uh, by the botanical garden only houses uh, surrounded right like around the botanical garden only houses so yeah it, it's nice to you know see this mix of uh, architecture buildings you know it, it's cool man yeah usually in brazil uh most of the cities at the traffic light It's normal to have like street vendors that like selling biscuits, candy. Usually it's common like, you know, the street vendors set the bag by the meter, right? The windshield meter. Uh, so if you're interested to buy, you just take it, give it to your eyes and retrieve a bag of candies. It's a way to help, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so I bought, obviously I want to help out two eyes is roughly like 35 cents, 40 yeah. cents. And we have some candy now. Man, you want some? <laughs> it, it really it really helps you know like usually we we do you know un unfortunately uh we would love to see them having like a a real job but it's not like that right yeah. it's hard it's life guys but if you can please support the locals always, always. 
All right, guys, so we made it here to the downtown. We're parking in a parking lot. It's like two bucks for three hours. Pretty good deal. And this is it, downtown. It reminds me of, uh, you know, it reminds me of like downtowns all around the United States. Big mix, you know, you have vacant parking lots or vacant land and you have parking lots. You have buildings. Over here is a little different though because you have this building with like a house, right? House in the middle of here. You have a lot of murals. Again, here in Brazil, they love to draw. They love to paint. Lots of murals, especially Sao Paulo. Full of murals. All right, dude, let's go eat. Okay, David, it's right there, Italia Pizza. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, since 1969. 1969? 51 years. Pizza for breakfast. Last pizza. time I did that, yeah. I was in Italy. Yeah, pizza for bom breakfast. Dia, bom dia, bom dia. Bom dia, bom dia. Bom dia. Pizza. Hoje eu tenho fatia de mussarela, presunto ou peperoni. Ham or just mozzarella? Pepperoni. What is this? Yeah, it's a smoothie, uh, strawberry, avocado, and papaya with milk and sugar. It's just delicious. I've never had a smoothie with avocado. Man, it's great. Yeah, because usually in Brazil, man, it, we tend to make uh, lots of dishes, uh, sweet avocado, right? Like with lime, with sugar. And it's not like in Mexico that they do the gu guacamole. So the rest of the world think it's really strange when we use avocado for other things. All right, let's <laughs> do this. Cheers. Starting the day with a nice smoothie. <laughs> it's a milkshake, man. It's thick. Mmm. Delicious. Super sweet. Yes. I, I think you tend to... Uh, Tastes more the papaya, right? Yeah. More the papaya. It's like super, super, super papaya. Mm -hmm. A little bit of strawberries. I don't really taste avocado. Mm -hmm. Like I'm done with the even the strawberry. Yeah, yeah. You can't taste. You can't taste. This is like straight papaya. Yeah. Whoa, that is so good. I also like the, the kind of like the milkshake texture. Yeah, yeah. Very creamy. Very creamy, very thick, very filling. I mean, you have this, that's your breakfast, yeah. you'll be fine. And not too sweet. Not too sweet. Mm -hmm. I think it was sweet. Mm -hmm. I think the smoothie is too much. Really filling. Muito pancha. <laughs> Satisfaz muito rápido, vai deixar com barrigão. I love it. So it's like an Italian diner from 1969, right? Wow. So it, it's. It takes back over 50 years, really amazing. Over here to the right, you have basically things that, you know, represent Italy. We have Luca, so if you guys ever heard of Luca, that's in Tuscany, I've been in that town, really beautiful. So I guess the guy's from Luca, right? Yeah. And then this is Venezia. Uh, here they have some of the, you know, some of the things that they produce, like cars, uh, yeah, Vespa, etc. You can order, you know, this pizza, you can order a smoothie, milkshake. They also have coffee, lots of different things. This is gonna be awesome. Mm. So, it's like a deep crust. Deep. Yeah, mm -hmm. big. Not deep crust. Like, usually it's like deep dish. This is like thick, thick pizza. On top, you have a layer of cheese. Then you have pepperoni, and that's oregano, right? Oregano. What I should do, always put on some of that chili. Mm, chili flakes. People say it's, it's a lot, it's never a lot. Mmm. Some olive oil as well. Wow. So basically, delicious frozen pizza. And now I'm gonna add some hot sauce. Do people actually put hot sauce like this? It's not really hot. Mmm. It's nice. Pimenta. Not too spicy. It's actually really good with the spice. To be honest, I think I've never had pizza for breakfast, even in Italy, but. Why not? Mm. Man, usually I like to, you know, put some olive oil. I like it. And then sprinkle some pepperoni, right? Called calabresa. Maybe with the hand. The crispy dough is kind of like bread, right? Mm -hmm. Very thick. So what do you think? Should I try this one? This, this is just regular, right? Yeah. We call mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Oh, the cheese is delicious. In the oregano? Put some olive oil. All right, so I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna put olive oil, right? Woo! That's a lot. And then I'm gonna put the chili flakes, but throughout, right? Why not, bro? Oh, dude. No. Different style, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's delicious. Obviously, it's frozen pizza. 
mm-hmm. but it just has a different taste to it. The dough is different. The cheese, amazing. Whoa. It's their own style. Mm-hmm. I think this is also picante, mm-hmm. no? Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious. Champions breakfast. Obrigado. Obrigada. Ciao. Ciao. I gotta say, that lady was too nice. She comped us. It was like 11 and 15. I think the smoothie was like, I think 12 too. Yeah, so actually they, they do a combo, right? Like 16. 16? Yeah, slice of pizza with the smoothie. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so that's 16. good. So it's yeah. like three US dollars for yeah, that. Yeah, it's not bad, right? It's not bad, so we spent two of those, right? So yeah. 16 and 16. 32. 32, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Great deal for a quick breakfast, you know, three dollars a person. Yes. Really filling. I mean, really I can't. Filling. I don't need to eat anything else, but I can. And delicious, right, man? Delicious. Delicious. And now this is downtown. Downtown Curitiba. Hey, David, look how beautiful is this? The downtown Curitiba, man. It's like the finance district. It's so organized, man. So clean, so neat, so nice. This is the reading uh, trolley, like the streetcar, right? It's kind of like one, right? the it's old one. one. The old one. It's amazing. So yeah, so we have the streetcar here. We have buildings, we have historical buildings. This one, Palacio Avenida, right? Very, very beautiful. This all looks very European right here. Over here as well, smaller buildings, but everything reminds me of Europe, but I guess that's the influence. Totally, totally Europe. Like a mix of uh, Italy, German, you know, Germany. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. No, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I love so cool. I love the street. Yeah. It's clean. I don't see any yeah, dirt. These are the famous Portuguese stones, right? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, Portuguese stones. So if, when you go to Lisbon, it's kind of the same style. Nice. And at the very end right here, we have a Christmas tree. Obviously, Christmas is coming around in about exactly. two weeks. And yeah, just restaurants, small souvenir shops. You have, you know, bars, bars, there's beer, there's fast food, library, bookstore. Cool. This is very nice. I like this. Such a beautiful day, huh? It's a beautiful day. And thank God it's not raining. This is an amazing strip in downtown. Pedestrian only walkway, Christmas tree, lots of buildings. I mean, I love it. I love it, too. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I think it's my favorite spot so far of the trip in terms of location. Yes. You know? And, and I like how they are so organized and neat, you know, man. That's why yeah. it's like the model city, right? Yeah, and with the Christmas tree, with the weather, I mean, it really brings you that, that Christmas spirit, even though we're in summer. Yes. <laughs> but it looks like we're in, during winter. This is winter, dude. Winter. This is winter. What a surprise. There's a Christmas market in Curitiba. Yeah. Awesome. But you, usually here's like a permanent market. Uh, do you like sweets? Do you want to try some sweets? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. So this is coconut. Yeah, this is called quebra queijo. Quebra queijo. Yeah. It's basically the flesh. It's a hard coconut and it's called quebra queijo because it's kind of like your chin right here, kind of like break. Because it's hard, because you have to chew in, right? So that's this one right here. Really tough, but this is going to be amazing. So it's coconut with sugar. Mm-hmm. So Basically so coconut with sugar. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, just coconut a bar. And sugar. A yeah. bar. This is originally from Bahia. Mmm. Oh wow. So sweet. Mmm. It's like coconut shavings with sugar all compressed and made into a big bar. It has a lot of sugar, but it's delicious. I like it. Mm-hmm. Very, it's very sweet. I love it too. Everything coconut, right? Mm-hmm. So you just gotta break off a piece. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's amazing. I like it. Really filling. Sugar mm-hmm. rush. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. I think Good. I'm good with this. Yeah, it's too much. What a surprise. Christmas market. And they're yeah. selling like basically everything for Christmas. They have stuff for the trees. Especially this month. But this is a permanent uh, street market. Okay. So usually, of course, out of December, they're selling other stuff. Usually handcraft. Handcraft. And crabs. Yeah, so we have a mix of things. Yeah, Souvenirs, and, basically. And usually at the end, as you can see, right in the middle of the square, we see some food carts, some okay. street food carts. And right here, they have honey. Look at this. Yes. The bomb. The bomb. Yeah. Look at that. 
Once you pass the market, you make it here to the center where the fountain is, and around the fountain, there's like 18 different small food trucks. Each one yeah. is for a different country or a different state in Brazil. Correct. It's a permanent uh, food uh, street market. Mm -hmm. And man, all types of food, food from Bahia, food from Bolivia, Poland, Italy, uh, Minas wow. Gerais State. Mexico. Mexico, Belgium here, you can have a waffle. Amazing. Yeah, and it's cool, man. They're all very organized. It is a permanent uh, fair. I like so it. So you come here anytime. They're always here, you know. So if you like craving to eat like foreigner food, uh, food from different uh, state of Brazil, that's the place, you know. Awesome. Yeah. It's so cool. yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna eat here. We're gonna continue because we're gonna go eat some sambo tastico. Oh my god! Yeah, it's typical here. I love it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. There's something that you have to try here, which is Canton. It's like a fermented uh, drink that they get out of the the grape. He's originally from Portugal, but as you know, there's like a huge influence of Portuguese here in Paraná State. So it costs five for this, and this is like a hot wine, right? Okay, see, uh, I've tried this in Poland. Yeah. In like Christmas, uh, Mercados Natales in uh, Poland, they have this. Wow. Yeah, here, here we go, Ken Town. Mm. It's like super hot. Yeah, super hot. There's super obviously hot. alcohol in it. Yeah. Mm, delicious. Very, very nice. It's like a sort of like a licorice wine. That's what yeah, I like the best. Hot, hot red wine, right? Kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah, with cinnamon, with right? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. You can also add marshmallows. Then canela. Yeah. You want to try with the marshmallow? I think it's gonna no, be no. too sweet. No, this is awesome though. Yeah. I awesome. love this. With this weather, this is perfect. Yeah. Mmm. So good. Yeah. Too hot, right? Yeah. But delicious. <laughs> The only problem with this is that it is so hot that you can't like go fast. You have to take it slow. And five for this, so one US dollar. Very nice. Obrigado. Definitely stop at this Portugal stand. You can try that. And you can try also codfish fritters, which she's literally cooking right now. She's frying it, right? Oh, amazing. All right, let's go eat. Obrigado. This lady right next to us is from Gaucha. Gaucha, is that our state? Gaucha. Gaucha is where we're going, Rio Grande do Sul state. Okay, because yeah, yeah, yeah. those kebabs smelled amazing. And they have kebabs there? Man. <laughs> yes or no? I don't know. Of course. <laughs> All right, let's cross. I want to try those go, testicles. Organs are the best. Yeah. The market's right there. You cross the street, and this is Bar Stewart, famous since 1904. Over 100 and whatever that is, 16 years. Okay, let's go inside. Let's eat some testicles. This is the oldest bar in Curitiba, and they think it's the oldest bar in Brazil. Correct. People, you know, say yes, no. Yeah. I mean, they're claiming they're, they're the claiming oldest it, one. They're claiming There's it. a bar in Rio, they're called Bar Luiz, but... And my friend here, the owner, is going to pour me an amazing uh, liquor, right? This is a cachaça, which is a sugarcane liquor shot. This one is a very special one. It's like like premium. So th this one in particular costs forty dollars a shot, forty a shot. US a shot. Yeah, and there's only four thousand bottles. Only four thousand bottles. Yeah, and he has two. <coughs> good. Mm, it's good. It's a uh, very a lot of fragrance, honey, right? Honey, fragrant like flowers. Very, very. I would say this is something like a like a raki or a grappa. Very clear, but obviously it's made from sugarcane. Yes. Like the 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 inside sugarcane, right? Yes. They basically extract it. Exactly. Right. Muito bom. Woo! Very good. Fire. So unfortunately today they don't have the testicles, but they do have another exotic dish, which is the crocodile tail. Crocodile tail. I'm from Miami, South Florida, we eat alligator tail. This is a little different, same thing though, very chewy. It tastes like chicken, but a little like thicker, right? A little more gamey. Yeah, I think the difference here that you're gonna eat with the, with the corn, I mean with the manioc flour. Okay. And with the spring onions. So I think that's the difference. And I, I don't know if you guys in Miami squeeze the lime on it. We do, and this you is do? chimichurri? Chimichurri, the Brazilian style. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Have some bones, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Mm. So it's very thick, mm -hmm. like dense. I'm gonna add some chimichurri, see the taste changes. Very, very chewy. Very chewy. I, I don't love chimichurri. Not a big fan. Mm -hmm. But with this, I'll try. I believe kind of cuts the flavor out, right? Mm -hmm. 
Mmm. Also, spring onion. Mm -hmm. Spring onion is the everything that's here. That's the deal. Always, right? Remember, I told you in Curitiba, man, everything it's the spring onions. Everything. Mmm. I like with the mini of flour. Me too. And it's not too fried. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm already eating stuff, and we still have a whole day of eating, so slow. Mm. With the flour. Yeah. Tastes better. Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's delicious, but I'm good. I'm going sure. hard out. Yes. Very chewing. Mm -hmm. It's a different type of meal. Yeah, yeah. But it's good, man. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. And I like the spring onions, you know. Mm. A little bit of bone. Mm -hmm. But the mix between the lime, spring onions, this like powder. The flour. The flour. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Great dish. It is. I like it. David, you're not eating anymore, but I'm gonna keep eating. Delicious. Obrigado, obrigado. Obrigado, obrigado. obrigado. Alright, my friends, we did it. We explored Curitiba this morning. Started off yes. at the Botanical Gardens, came to downtown. We tried pizza, a smoothie. We walked around. We tried also here. Cocada. Like, cocada. The we coconut uh, sweet. Coconut sweet. We walked around the market, saw yes. the beautiful downtown. We also had this like Kim Town. Kim Town. Kim Town. Like a, it's like a cinnamon rice hot uh, and clove. Not right? rice. That wine drink, right? Yes. I've hot, had it. Hot wine drink. Yeah. I usually have that in Eastern European during winter. Yes. Right. And then we came here to the oldest bar, Bar Stewart, since 1904, and we had some crocodile tail. Yes. Really delicious. Delicious. It was different, exotic. Very chewing, but I Very like chewing. it. Yeah, it's yeah. good. But if you come here and have testicles, try that. Yeah, if you eat a lot, it's, it gets exhaust, I think. Yeah, but yeah. it's good. Yeah, very greasy. Very greasy, yeah. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video this morning in Curitiba. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me comment below, subscribe to the channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Curitiba. And look, it's starting to rain. Again. Ah. Uh, uh, Curitiba. Curitiba. <laughs> Let's go.